What's going on, people? It's Shinigami187 bringing you Domination on Underpass. As a heads up, I will be lagging with a full bar or with three bars. Um, I'm assuming the host was probably downloading something. Not too entirely sure, but you'll see me kind of like skip around uh, back, front, left, right, a lot of directions, you know, so bear with lag. Like I did, I, uh, this was actually in game lag and it was it was frustrating for a bit but uh, I got used to it I tried to um, figure out how to use a, a, the lag towards my advantage or at least get my kills but it worked out in certain situations not all of them but let's get down to this um, as you see we got CNA someone's capturing C and Semtex it got stuck and I'm so cool that I can just walk away from it um, I love domination. It's one of the best things to do. Um, in my opinion, you know, it's probably one of those modes where it takes the most, I guess, skill to a certain point. Besides, like team deathmatch, where people just go for kills, you know. And uh, for domination, you pretty much you kind of forced to use uh, teamwork, but it's not really used that much. People just do what they want and hope for the best <laughs> you know like I'm not saying that any other mode takes no skill you know it's just that domination is it's more fun to actually do uh, headquarters is sweet but usually you have a bunch of randoms that probably suck and or newcomers you know quotation marks um, you know but you know to each his own so Perf I, I love uh, domination and third person shooters it's it's where it's at for me. Now, I wasn't really gonna say this, but you know, it's people might get mad at me for it, and honestly, I don't really care because I know it's what I'm saying is gonna be truth and not to brag or just to piss someone off, you know. Never, ever, 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 ever capture all three flags on domination. Why? It's simple, really. When you capture all three flags, they the opposing team will spawn in random places. Um, they could spawn at B, A, C, anywhere. And when that happens, you kind of, in a way, reset the game. Not always, but sometimes you will reset the game. Not like from, from the very beginning, you know, but just in the positions to where they can take A and B easily while you guys are... When you guys cap C, let's say that was the last flag, you guys cap it and they spawn at A and B and they get those two. So, it's not worth you guys capturing all three. You know, just for what? You know, do you want to finish the game early and play something else? I'm like, no, you want to win. And you just don't want to, like, just rush it. You know, this is not search and destroy where you can just rush it and do whatever the hell you want. This is domination, take your time, don't capture all three. You know, it's it takes no more than like what like eight to ten minutes to win a game when you do it correctly, when you do all three flags. You know, yeah, it'll go kinda quickly, but you're risking the game and your teammates are gonna get pissed at you and I've told off so many people off because they capture all three flags. It's 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 common sense, it, it's really stupid. If you capture all three flags you know, don't. Um, everyone has their point of views, I know. But capturing all three, you want to finish the game faster. That's all that it provides for you. Now, I guess it's okay if, let's say, the score is at 180, 190 to 150, 160, then by all means, capture the last one. But if it's kind of close, you know, by 20, 30 points, you know, don't really do it. You know, just a few points, that, that, that's okay. Just don't try to finish the game too early because you're just going to piss people off like me that know what, that know what to do, know how, how to play the mode, and aren't here just to win right away because, you know, you want to get your kills. I understand. People want to get their kills. That's why you spawn camp. Just like in any game, go towards their flag. Not, not their actual flag, but just be somewhere around them like my some of my teammates are doing you're not capturing that flag because they know what to do and what not to do 
hopefully they're experienced or you just don't want to do it <laughs> you know as you can see they're spawning at C and they're trying to come they're trying to come towards B side and trying to cap it and this is where I get a quite a few kills and you'll see that you know hopefully this video will show you that don't cap all the flags take your time capture two and just spawn camp them at A there's no reason for you to capture all three there just there isn't you're just being selfish I guess if you want to capture all three but here I shank the guy <laughs> it takes a, like a second or so and it's actually for me to get the kill you know lag for the win who doesn't love lag I know I do it's sweet here the reason why we're capturing C is because we're losing A and we lost A so of course it's only you know duh you know capture the flag and still maintain our what's it how should I say our advantage over towards the team now I would say for you to have the advantage on this map is in my opinion for you to capture C and B when you do that you'll control pretty much half of the map since the reason why I say C and B because B it's a little bit you can easily frag it you know to a certain point so it's easily defendable and attackable uh, C it's kinda hard to attack it when you have people on top shooting downwards and when you're trying to go for C at the bottom you know you can only just shoot noob tubes or whatever towards the front by the time you look up you're probably, probably gonna get shot and A is very easy to attack and defend but they can easily kill you when you're trying to capture their flag so as a strategy that's what I use I try to capture C and B it's you control pretty much like the high tops all the places that for those campers that like to camp you can just camp on those windows on those buildings and you know you have the advantage you'll be snapping people off you'll be doing whatever the hell it is that you want to do as a camper <laughs> that guy just got shot so I'm like yeah I'm not gonna go there <clears throat> So yeah guys, just keep it simple, don't showboat and try to humiliate the other team because, you know, they might do it back, back to you and, <laughs> you know, let's see how that feels. Now, I was instructed, well not instructed, but uh, someone gave me some advice on one of my videos on Battlefield, which are located on the sidebar for my channel, that I shouldn't really just talk about, about the game. I should talk about random stuff. Um, I wouldn't mind. I love to talk about something else besides games. I mean, uh, not games, but like the current game that's at hand. But I am horrible to don't. Yeah. Uh, besides anything else, don't stay about the entire match, guys. Move around. Keep people guessing. You know, don't just camp there the entire time and expect no one to kill you. And I got lucky here. I'm surprised I didn't die as well. <laughs> But yeah guys, um, I'm really not that, I don't have like a huge imaginary, uh, imaginary, imagination to where I can just get ideas from my head and just give, give them to you guys, um, you know, strategies, you know, I can easily come up with strategies right there very fast, I should have died there with that RPG, I'm surprised I didn't die and that's so sweet, um, I can come up with strategies with any map, any stage, you know, it's something, I don't know, I just, I don't have that type of imagination for me to come up with certain things like um, other YouTubers do, kind of like CNNers or those other pretty, pretty badass people, you know, they just come up with, with some pretty badass stuff and I guess they're just comfortable being themselves. For me, <laughs> um, usually I wouldn't be comfortable myself talking like this because I'd probably be screaming at people, telling them what to do and what not to do, and you guys don't want to hear that, you know, I know that for a fact, but if there's maybe a certain thing that you want me to cover, uh, maybe let's say you want me to talk about the new Toy, Toy Story movie that's coming out, I'll probably talk about it, which is pretty sweet, I'm actually excited to see that movie, I'm a huge fan of uh, Toy Story ever since the very first one, ever since I was um, pretty much, a, I guess I call that a kid, because I'm actually 23, and um, you know, <laughs> Back in the days, that was a kid, you know, and it's going to be pretty sweet, pretty fun. So I'm going to go watch that movie, no doubt. 
um <laughs> you know whatever you guys want me to talk about just let me know on the comment section below and i'll talk about whatever it is even lizzie longhands um i think she got married or something or hilary Duff or somebody got married and she gave head to her uh, fiance or something like that um not really too sure who it is i keep on getting people mixed up i have a horrible memory but yeah they even show like some pictures of, of the dude being all happy i'm like shit <laughs> who would be happy getting head from a chick like that you know i think it was lizzie mcguire i think so you might be mistaken but if you guys know let me know and uh <laughs> I'll talk about anything besides politics and um, something that I probably wouldn't, wouldn't even know about. But anyways guys, thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe to my channel. My link will be on the description side. Thanks for watching.